What's up, beaches? This is Javon, and this is the Devon Show. I'm kind of recording this video at nighttime. I don't have the right lighting system, so I'm using ghetto ass lights. So the quality of this video is probably going to be kind of on the low side, but a bad bitch gonna bring that quality up about three notches, and y'all gonna be like, ooh, let me watch it. Guess what, peoples? I have a boyfriend. Oh yeah, no, but I do. We've almost been going out for three months. We started talking a minute ago. Go. Our story is kind of like crazy as fuck, but I'm gonna tell y'all how I met my boyfriend, how we started talking, and how we got to where we are today. I guess first I should start from the beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna just go through, you know, and tell you in chronological little order of how we are and where we at. Today. It was about three years ago, 2013, and I was best friends with this girl named Nisia Habies, and we started talking, hanging out, and it was the summertime, and you know, it was lit. It was lit, we was lit, and Nisia um, had this cousin, and I was, I, when I, as I was hanging around Nisia, he would come around more and more and more and more and more. But I didn't really think anything of it because, you know, I was just minding my business and shit. So, you know, I always knew that I was kind of gay and I knew he was gay. I got to move this camera and I knew he was gay. But I didn't really think anything of it, you know? So I started hanging out more and more and more. I started like, realizing that like maybe maybe not you know I don't know we started messaging on Facebook and like we both knew we both knew that we were gay but it was like I was not okay with myself yet and he was already he already knew what he liked he already knew what it was I didn't and I was like scared to talk to him and I didn't want to and I was like no I don't want to this is not going to work this is not going to work no <sighs> but anyways you know he as we messaging on Facebook and shit he's trying to get all cute and shit and all like oh you cute whoa I like you but at me at the time no I wasn't with that at all like no I stay I'm not with feelings keep those away from me, but he actually liked me a lot. He liked me a lot, like a lot. And I didn't really think anything of that either. So we start talking and talking and talking and we go to my friend Tajan Man's house, well my ex-friend Tajan Man's house and, okay, I'm sorry, but this is kind of inappropriate. And me being the person that I was, you know, a little that. We went upstairs to Tajan Man's room. It was daytime, this is not what kind of is, but we went upstairs to Tajmer's room. Tajmer went to the bathroom, and I was sitting on the corner of the bed, and she was sitting, and he was sitting on the other corner of the bed. And it was like, it wasn't awkward, but it wasn't like comfortable. But then me being me, I was like, come here. He was like, what? I was like, come here. What? Come here. And then he came over towards me, and then I kind of exposed myself. But not like that. I just kind of. Show a little bit of skin if you know what I mean. Uh, keep it G-rated, you know, keep it. But yeah, you get it. So, yeah, nothing happened. I just showed him, he was like, whoa, whoa, dude. But I was like, So time progressed off from that. We started talking and talking and talking, but I really talking, just talking, like, because you know what it's gonna happen. So, he ended up coming over to my house and, um, you know, we did the day and do the do, and I called it a day. And I was like, okay, go home, <laughs> I'm done. Cause you know, he wanted to cuddle and shit, and I was like, no, it's okay, <laughs> it's fine. Cause I didn't like cuddling, so, you know. So, you know, I kinda like shoved him off, and the day he came over my house, he was supposed to go chill with his best friend. But I got it and he ditched her to come chill with me and she was mad about it. So what she decided to do was go on his Facebook 
and um screenshot the messages to post them on his Facebook making it seem like it was him and that was like a day after we did what we did and I did and I was not like publicly get open like nobody knew this was way back what well, people knew but nobody knew about me so she did that and it was all over Facebook it went viral blah 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 so I didn't know that it was her. So me at the time, I was like, oh nigga, how are you just gonna do that to me? Like, what, like, for real? Like, is you dead ass? Like, get the fuck out of my face. Like, but I didn't know that it was, it was, um, Michaela. What's up, Michaela? We cool now, but at the time. She exposed me on Facebook and it went around and everybody started putting it together, rah, 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 rah. And I didn't really care because I didn't, I really couldn't do anything, so I just kept on moving with my life. And then, you know, months eight later, I still wasn't open. I was out of the closet, and I kept on hearing that he was going around telling people what we did, like telling people what we did, telling people what we did. So I was like, yeah, what the fuck? Like, shut the fuck up. What the fuck are you talking for? My nose is snotting. I'm kind of sick. No, my don't. I was like, just shut up. I don't know what he got to know what we're doing, but you know, he was openly gay. I wasn't, so it was nothing to him. I was just another nigga on the hit list. And I was like, no. And we <laughs> didn't like each other at all. Like, we kind of hated each other. And if we were to see each other, we would have probably fought multiple times. Like, it was like that. We both got that attitude. It would have been fucked up. We would have had to fuck each other up, for real. But we never saw each other, and we never ended up fighting. But, like, low-key, I still had, like, a little crush on him. And low-key, he still had a little crush on me. But it was just like, oh, bitch. What's up? Cause you know, it was just like, what's up? I don't know. Cause we ain't like each other. So time progresses on, we beefing off and on, off and off for a couple months and my birthday comes up. And a couple weeks before that, we went to a party and he was there. It wasn't, but we weren't beefing. It was kind of like, oh, me being me a few days after that party. <laughs> He made the status and I liked it and I did some petty shit and he messaged me and he was like oh I think you like my status on accident and I was like no I did it on purpose I was being petty and that like that pettiness kind of started up us talking again and we was arguing but we weren't really arguing we were just being petty towards each other being cute so it's like oh, a couple of days after that my birthday party is here and we, he like asked if he can come. I didn't really care. I didn't really think he was gonna come, but he ended up coming and I was like, oh, okay. Like, is we gonna fight or is we gonna be cool then? We ended up being cool the whole party. And after that, we kind of just like started talking. And before we started, like as we were talking, I got, I, I was really scared because I never had a boyfriend before and I didn't think people, I, I didn't know how people would react to me coming out of the closet and having a boyfriend at the same time. I was kind of nervous, honestly, but I didn't really have anything to be nervous about. So, yeah, after my birthday, we started talking. We started talking and about on Valentine's Day, on Valentine's Day, two fourteen sixteen. That is when we made it official and we posted it on Facebook and shit to let everybody know that we were in a relationship. And ever since then, I've kind of been happy as hell, honestly. It feels good <laughs> having somebody that's all yours, you know? And staying faithful and being committed to one person is like the best feeling in the world and knowing that it's the same way around. Chris is his name, I'm sorry. Chris, <laughs> Christian. I was fighting feelings for a long time. <laughs> fighting feelings for a long time, but he kind of maneuvered his way into my heart and he kind of like stole that shit right from me. Fast forward until now, I am extremely happy with what happened. <laughs> I didn't really expect it to ever happen because we didn't like each other. We hated each other and it's absolutely mind like blowing that we fell in love together. I'm gonna post some pictures, some flippograms or something just to show y'all about really how happy we are. Like, comment, subscribe, um, if you got that one special person in your life, show them this video, you know? Deuces, bitches. I'm a bitch, it's what I know I am, I know I am.